it's like, I love everything like European made. It's made in Europe, I'm always buying it. <laughs> that crispy, huh? Look at that, look at that. Woo! <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm here on Overland Expo and made a surprise for Marco from Overland X. Alright guys, so I'm here on Overland Expo and made a surprise for Marco from Overland X. I paint him a picture and right now I'm gonna give it to him. This painting of his Jeep Gel JK Rubicon and we're gonna see his reaction. So he's there talking to people. Yeah, here are the goose gear. So I said, hey, hey, Marco, what's up? How's it going, man? Good pretty good. Again. Good to see you again. I, I know what's coming, and I'm pretty excited, dude. Hi, right, guys. So I painted, I painted this painting for Marco <laughs> because he's been inspiring me since 2015, and that's where I spend all my money on my Jeep, pretty much. So this guy is the guilty one for this. He's responsible for me, like my wife. If she yeah. sees that, you, she's you, you're control. saying that because your wife is. <laughs> <laughs> She's coming by the way, but yeah, no, this is painting of your JK when you went to the, the edge of the world. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, open it and let's see it. Uh, so, super I, I've seen this in pictures and I can't wait to see it. I, I painted that. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much, man. Buddy. Do you like Thank it? You so much. So you want to remember Yeah, so now it's kind of like That's a JK, it's not this, it's no, not No, 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 this is the, this is the Jeep. And uh, yeah, that's the, the Jeep. Jeep. Yeah, I used to watch that trail recon all the time and yeah. just like sometimes when I watch his movies again, I like just bring memory, I don't know, it's pretty cool. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, let's, let's show it like that. Yeah. Oh, thank you. All right, guys, so Marco was really happy about the painting and we are off. We're going to walk around and I'll show you around the expo. I'm not going to film a bunch because it's really gloomy and I didn't even plan to, to film a lot, but I'll show you what is going on here. Something interesting. I saw something here, guys, like it's uh, made in Deutschland. I think I'm gonna buy one of those axes. <laughs> like that. Hey, how you doing? You're back. I told you I'll be back. Alright. <laughs> I don't know, Addison, which one should I get? This one? Or this one? I think you should get... Oh, well, that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have to carry them all. Or that one. I think that one. Uh, I'm gonna go with this Make sure go with that guy? Alright, that was the 120 one, I think, right? Yep. All right, I think awesome. that one. Do any deals of this and do the I do uh, one. Those are normally 40. I'll do one. Sweet. Yeah. 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 What group is this? Hello. Do a cash it's Helkowerk, Helkowerk made in Deutschland, in Germany. And, uh, I love everything like European made. It's made in Europe, I'm always buying it. So we're gonna buy this X. It's very important to have something to cut with. This X is really good. Alright, let me get you. Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Do you need one organizer in the back? Yeah, Alright guys, I've seen here like we're in a booth, uh, the overlanding overlanding gear guy. And I've been looking for those bags, those like pretty much the trash bag. It goes behind it, you can actually hang it anywhere, but I can put it behind the, my passenger seat for the trash bags. <laughs> it's really nice and I think I'm gonna buy some organizers here which I was planning to buy for a long time ago and those are super nice so I can keep my stuff inside so he said all of those will work for the Jeep jail Rubicon all those he said that's for too right yeah so we're gonna see right now tell me like which organizers might work for you I'm gonna buy a trash bag here for this one I mean I can buy two for you as well oh the headrest trash bag yeah for the kids that way they can keep them organized okay you can sweep for them to go work thank you thank you here let me have you Black yeah, and brown. Which color you want? Um. Thank you for cleaning up so much. White just to black. Black. Okay, you got it. Thank you. It's nice to have the band. So I mean, it's it's a, it, it does stick out for them. So. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So either way. I don't want to be. Okay. And then you wanted one too. Uh, which one do you want? The black one. Black one. Do you want the the zipper or the flip top? Uh, the zipper. Okay, the zipper. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry. I think it's a big pie order, brother. That crispy, huh? Look at that. Look at that. Woo! David. <laughs> Got Tay. You do well, it's fine. And Alan, where are you at, Alan? I don't know. He's, oh, he's, oh, hey, yeah. he goes right there. Ready to go. Ready to go. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> good times, good times. It's going to be an awesome battle. So, I'm going to hand it off to Christina, but then I also have a, a co-host and celebrity judge, well, celebrity judge, sorry, co-host is Regina, she's going to be the co-host, because I don't really know about two, but I'm a hot guy, so you know, she's going to take over. Then we have the celebrity judge, Brad, and I believe Jerry's going to be one of the other celebrity judges, from Temple of Tusk, and then... We are going to pick a lucky audience member to be our third judge. So I want a show of hands for anybody who really loves food. Show of hands if you're a big food lover. Food yeah! Food lovers. Yeah. Food lovers. Foodies. Go Foodies. I like this chick over here. She looks like she's really rare to yes. go. Really yes! Come on up. You're going to be our third guest judge. Gotta go. Yeah. Before we get started, just a couple logistics things. Um, our chefs are going to be cooking at all four of these Tembo Tusk stations up here. So we just want to keep this whole area clear because they're going to be running back and forth. 
They're going to be running back and forth from these tables all the way to the tent over here. So let's just keep this whole area clear for them. And these are our judges' tables over here. So if we can keep this area clear for our judges, that would be awesome. Um, we are going to have each one of our chefs choose a station. Chefs, please choose your station. <laughs> So I would like to personally thank Tembo Tusk who provided all of the saddles, the tables, and everything for us today. How cool is this? They made us these limited edition Casey Highlight Scottles for our Battle of the Scottles competition. They made us these limited edition cutting boards that our chefs will get to take home with them when they are done with the competition. I could not be more excited. We also want to thank Front Runner who provided all of the utensil kits for our chefs this afternoon. So thank you to Front Runner for all of that. And I will have each one of our chefs start your scones. Hey, buddy. Nice. Well, we're excited to see what you can make for us today. I can't get you Alan. Alan is the CEO of Casey Highlights. Would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself and how you learned how to cook? From my mom. From your mom? Yeah, growing up, she always cooked hot cake stuff at home. So we grew up with cooking, and cook, cooking brought people together. That's what we thought. Right. Well, thank you. We're excited to bring all of you together over food this afternoon. And Marco, Marco, would you like to tell us a little bit about you? Absolutely. I'm Marco, and I learned to cook from my mom, and she was a really good cook. And I married a woman that's really good cook, so uh, <laughs> start the thing. And, uh, yeah. Nice, thank you, thank you. So can I ask you, what is one ingredient you never leave home without? Cheese. Cheese. Okay. okay, well we're excited to see what you bring us today. So as you guys are aware, the chefs do not know what they're about to cook for us today, but I have a lineup of volunteers in the barn who are about to bring out our secret ingredients. So ladies and gentlemen, would you please introduce our secret ingredients to our chefs? Here we go. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> bring it out, bring it out. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so the rules here are they can use anything on the table behind them for ingredients. They have 45 minutes to prep and cook something for us. 45 minutes. Very uncomfortable and right now. The timer <laughs> starts now. Hi now. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Tracy. Tracy. Nice yeah. to meet you, Tracy. Me too. So tell us a little bit about you, Tracy. Um, I was brought here by my husband, but I'm actually loving it. Embarrassingly, I love it. And I watch these guys for hours and hours and hours because he does, and so I've become obsessed with them, and I'm excited to judge. Awesome. Well, I'm excited to have you judge. Thanks. This is like the one ingredient, the ingredient. We had a couple of options that I didn't want to cook, so we're going to see how this goes. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. Two days ago for my strategy, and I got one, but I'm changing it up. Okay, so you're better than AI and chat GPT for it. Or I'm dumb. <laughs> nah. All right, Marco. Yes. So what ingredients? You have some fancy ingredients over here. Egg, flour, and I got a special sauce that I made. Oh, okay. So these are going to be, well, it's supposed to be tacos, but we don't have tortilla, so we're going to have to uh, imagine that there's a tortilla underneath. <laughs> there's some bread over there. I know. You can make a torta, huh? Awesome. <laughs> Marco, yes. I'm not going to ask you. You've never had a <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have. What? Yeah, I have. Okay. There's a few things that I have to uh, that I wanted to cook, and Brad wouldn't eat it. So. <laughs> Do tell. What would my husband not eat? Uh, oh, he's hiding. <laughs> 
Well, I tried to give him menudo one time, and he said no. <laughs> yeah, okay. a couple other things. So that's not really a cookie fail on your part. I mean, it could have been the most wonderful thing ever. My husband just refused to eat it. What about you, Brad? How do you feel about the secret ingredient? So I've never had squid at camp. Has anybody ever had squid at camp? Like we got like two <laughs> hands that just went up. So I, I'm curious to see how this goes, but Jared, I think this is a whole new thing we got going on right here. <laughs> yeah, we are definitely downwind from this. It smells really, really good. Uh, and I, there's a lot of great ingredients on the table there. So I, uh, I'm excited to see what we come up with. All right, so we've got 35 minutes left on the clock now. Chef, we have 35 minutes left on the clock. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, you gotta get out of here. Marco's never going to be friends with me again. <laughs> We're allowing the sharing of ingredients up in here. Surprise! There's some peppers, some garlic, some uh, lime is going on. It looks like you're pretty close to being finished, dude. Is that right? I'm done. You're done. I'm done. Whoa. It's quick, it's quick. quick. Yeah. Let's see them go wheeling. <laughs> it looks like the noodles just went on the scottle in a little sauce. Is that what we're doing there, Alan? Yes, sir. So we're going to make some noodles, and then is your squid finished? Squid is finished. Squid is finished. It looks good. We still got some uh, chives on the uh, counter. Right. Everyone is different. Everyone is different. Yeah. Anything with the word And then uh, it looks like we've got, what do we do to your squid? We're about to bread them. We're going, we're going real simple. I mean, I'm a purist on this one. We're going to really highlight the, uh, the natural squid you're really, you're really just beating it already. I have no idea what I'm doing. You don't know what you're doing. It smells good. And then over here, oh yeah. That looks good. So I know you got some sesame oil over here. We got some soy sauce. And then you mix it with... I make it into like a little stir fry. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, that's a good smell over here, Jerry. You are looking at I, I, yeah, I think. Wow, that's good. I cannot wait. Seriously. Did you get a whiff, did you get a whiff of this, Tracy? Yeah. Yeah. You just got to. And look, that, that's coming right at me. That's good. Now, do we put that on it, the like the toppings, yep. or yep. what's the best way to top this? Like this? Yep. Yep. Forgive me, I'm a very white woman when it comes to eating. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, don't, I don't cook. I just eat whatever's put in front of me, and this is wow, extravagant. Great. Now the pressure's I on me. I know. <laughs> You're screwed. I bring her here, and now I gotta cook better. <laughs> Her face, yeah, says it face definitely it. says it all. She looks like she's in Like it's running right down now, my so. throat and it's just like... <laughs> okay, so flavor yeah. explosion. I'm a very white woman. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try this is amazing. The yeah. Get ready. Tried the secret yeah, ingredient. Yeah, try the, try the, the, the really? Yeah, try the I thought I did, was it not? I want to be repaid. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> like a totally different flavor! Wow! Oh, and it's like even more! <laughs> Alright, I have.
had gastric bypass surgery and I lost 200 pounds, which means I ate a lot and I never ate that good. That's amazing. Mark, tell me what's, what's the cabbage, buddy? Talk about that for a second. It's very spicy. It's good. It's repoil. It's repoil. Yeah. Which so, that means what in English? <laughs> red, red cabbage. Right, but what's the sauce? Chiracha. Chiracha. Mayonnaise. Mayo. And lime. That's it. So it's like a Mexican coleslaw. That's it. Okay. Well, I gotta say, he's definitely wow. got the color yes. going on yes. for sure. I'm gonna have that. All right, here we go. Brad's digging in. Wow, well, I'm, I'm jealous right now. I'll hurry if Jerry's gonna bite my arm off. Uh, yeah. All right, a little of that. Yeah, you better guard that fork. She might come in for another bite. Right. Uh, yeah, you might want to use a spoon. It's good. Mm. Don't talk to me. <laughs> no. It's kind of an adventure. First of all, the squid is very tender. I like the uh, crunch on there, but the spice that comes with the cabbage and the crunch of the cabbage, oh, that's good, Jerry. You gotta get in the money. I will. I am a spicy over lover. Here. That was amazing. All right, here we go. Jerry from Tempo Test. What do you think of Marco's fish? Wipe it on my pants, bro. Everyone else is gonna be cold. No <laughs> fair. <laughs> I would eat in his restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. So next up we've got Alan. That's Alan's way more tender than I've ever had at the restaurant. Tell us a little bit about the dish that you have prepared for our judges. So I was thinking what would be fast, easy to transport. Um, one of the concerns today uh, was the tenderness of the squid. Uh, so I had to fly in the, uh, the ramen from Kyoto, Japan. Uh, <laughs> this, this was on Amazon. Uh, but I just wanted to be able to throw it together without stress. But Marco beat me. It looks like he was super relaxed. Uh, but just the flavors, crunch, tenderness. I actually didn't season the squid because I wanted you to have the pure flavor of the squid, right? Uh, and I sauteed it in garlic actually at the end. Ooh, I, decided to put that little I can smell that. Um, all right, all right. Very good presentation. Oh. <laughs> How much is squid in the store? Is that expensive? <laughs> Are you thinking you want to start making Yeah! Steak? All right, all right. <laughs> and a jar of chili. You gotta be careful. Brad, what do you think of the dish that Alan has prepared for us? Absolutely. So you guys don't realize this when we're filming at camp, there's always this long pause when I'm chewing. <laughs> <laughs> That's got a little kick, my friend. If, <laughs> if it does, I was about to pour a big old glove yeah, on it. Yeah, don't do that. It doesn't need it. it. I am a huge ramen junkie. I eat ramen all the time. And that, uh, with the squid, that chili sauce, I mean, it's, it's good. It's not, I'm not like on fire, but it was, it hit me and I'm like, oh just yeah. Right. That's just, just right. That's just right. <laughs> I, I'm gonna make a little bit of that. And let me tell you, Brad makes a mean ramen. Another restaurant really? that. No, but it's like so somebody came to take the plate away. No, you will have holes in your hands. <laughs> You're not taking the plate away. All right, thank you. Jerry. What is she? I got batteries. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. I almost wow, oh, look at the presentation! Oh my gosh. Jill's presentation is always strong. Is there another All right. Jill, do you want to tell us a little bit about what you have prepared for our judges today? I went, I went real simple, real old school, just trying to do a take on calamari. I've never done this before, so. Um, I do have it. But we really wanted to just make the calamari shine, the, the squid shine. So, uh, but you definitely want to taste it with the comeback sauce. Um, I think that's what makes it. Yeah. All right, all right. Thank you very much. This is very pretty too. <laughs> she can handle the pressure. Tracy, you okay? Yep. Come on, Tracy's yeah, dying on the <laughs> Tracy right. wants all of our judges to open a restaurant at the end of the day. Yeah. All right, Brad. I'm going to start stalking y'all. I was already going in for my second bite. That is really tasty, uh, really tender, and the crunch. That, that was fried up really well. And that, and that sauce. That, it, really, right. that, that sauce, sauce is outstanding. It. You know, I think one of the toughest things to cook is calamari. If you ever get it in a restaurant, it's, you know, nine out of ten times it's tough as can be. None of this and is like this. All of them have been delicious. Yeah, all perfect. We're down in your life. <laughs> I told you. I'm very good. All right, Shane. Come tell us about the ramen. I would kind of like a little stir-fry style. Uh, like onion, garlic, tomatoes, bell peppers, and then chicken. 
but it does. And I smelled it when you were cooking it. So you actually used uh, sesame oil instead of the regular. A big thanks to Casey Highlights for putting this on. I've been coming to Expo for years, and this is the most fun I've had in a long time. Nice job, guys. Uh, guys, if you have kids, you'll probably understand that it's filming. Filming is very, very hard. Here, the baby is crying. It's so hard. Say hi, Sophie. Say hi. Oh, no. Just look at this Ural, Ural motorcycle. The Russian motorcycle with Brembo brakes. Yeah, I did some shopping. We met a lot of people. And we were pretty much done here with Overland Expo. I bought a couple stuff that I needed for my Alaska trip. Nothing special. Hey guys, so we just came back to my Jeep. We were walking two miles, but anyway, I just want to show you what I got. So this cable, I got it from the Bush company, Rex. Uh, he made me a special design cable because the air cap for, for my wife, for her FJ, because you need a longer cable to connect with the Anderson connector. Then I bought this lava box. I'm going to show you right now. So it looks like a... Looks like a like a military ammo box. So there's like a rocks for propane fire. It's pretty cool. I really like the design of it. Okay. And uh, I bought an X. Always need an X when you're overlanding. And this one is from the company of Helkwerk from our beloved Deutschland from Germany. I bought a organizer from the 20, Step 22 and they made a logo with very cool Jeep as you can see thumbs up for Step 22 again from Step 22 for the visor the organizer you know that for the sun visor so I can put my glasses stuff pants And the last, but not least, we have those organizers from the, you know, you hang on the back of your, of your, uh, like a seat, from Overlanding Gear Guy. So I got me one and my, my, I said my mom, my wife, I got one, it's just the same one, but just the desert color. So okay guys, that's it, see you on the road, bye bye.